ranking every nail art in Hollow Knight. In number three, we have Dash Slash, which works by holding down the attack button, dashing, and then releasing it, dealing 2.5 times your nail damage. I don't usually find myself needing to quickly close in on enemies, and it can be pretty easy to overshoot your dash into the path of damage. However, I will say that I find some decent use from Dash Slash in the Coliseums. In number two, we have Cyclone Slash, which works by holding down the attack button, looking up or down, then releasing it, dealing 1.25 times your nail damage with a possible three to six hits. While the strongest nail art, if a boss or enemy is moving a lot, I find landing every hit to be inconsistent, and I often make use of Quick Slash instead because of its high damage outputs. However, for the few bosses that I do like to use Cyclone Slash on, it works magnificent. In number one, we have Great Slash, which works by holding down the attack button, then releasing it, dealing 2.5 times your nail damage. While not as strong as Cyclone Slash, I find Great Slash to be the most helpful overall for most situations. It's simple to use, and the easiest of the three nail arts to not take damage while performing. I use Great Slash, especially in the Coliseums, where there are a decent amount of bosses that I use it on as well. Like and subscribe for more Hollow Knight shorts.